Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through uh, setting up and using the model release app for photographers and videographers. So uh, here we go. First thing you want to do is uh, go into the app store, just do a quick search for model release and it should be one of the first uh, few things that comes up. Tap on it and go ahead and install it. Once you have it installed, just uh, look for it and fire it up. Okay, so we have it installed and the first time you run it, it's going to show you a couple of uh, sample model releases. Uh, in fact, a model release and a property release, as you can see here. It shows you some sample data here uh, for a model named Amy. Um, it's her name, her age, she's an adult, her email address, her um, street address, just some information about the model release. So uh, why don't we go ahead and create a brand new model release from scratch. So I press this uh, plus button here and now it's asking me if I want to create a new model or if I want to choose uh, one of the existing models I've used in the past or if I want to choose a model from my address book so for now I'm just gonna say create a new model and all I need to do at this point is just put in the model's name so I'll just put in something like Jessica and last name let's say Anderson and of course we can add more information about the model um, later on in the program. So I hit done, and there we go. We have uh, Jessica Anderson, uh, the status is currently incomplete, and this is the model release for Jessica. So the date, as you can see, is uh, April 8th, uh, which is the current date. All right. And then the next thing I need to do is uh, select a contract for this particular model release. So as you can see, the app comes with uh, a bunch of uh, commonly used uh, contracts such as uh, a brief one, a detailed one, a simplified one, a standard one. And these are used by some of the big uh, agencies like Getty and the American Society of uh, Media Professionals. And, um, and you can always uh, add your own contracts. So for now, let's go ahead and select uh, the simplified contract. And we've got her name. Uh, we can change uh, her age. We can, uh, we can specify her exact date of birth if you want to, or just select adult or minor. Um, her contact information can be entered here. So uh, we could put in her email address. So let's just say Jessica at Gmail. Oops. Dot com and I'll just leave her phone number out for now and as you can see the, uh, the the user interface is extremely simple it's very fluid it's just very uh, fast to get through these fields all right so I need to uh, select the signatures for the photographer as well as a model so for the photographer uh, when I tap there it actually shows me all the information about the photographer, uh, my name, my company name, my email address, my phone number, and this is only to be entered once and just gets reused for every model release that I create. So I just need to create my signature, and again this is only to be done once and it just gets reused for every model release. So uh, here's a quick signature. As you see I can uh, use a stylus, I can use my finger, whatever's available. Uh, I had done. I go back there. It shows me that the photographer has signed this release. And now it's the model's turn to sign this release. So I hand the iPad over to the model. At this point, uh, the model sees uh, the text of that agreement uh, that we selected earlier. Uh, she can read this. As you can see, her name is automatically uh, entered into the contract. Um, you can enter. Uh, you can automatically insert. Uh, other fields such as her phone number, email address, or age, a whole bunch of other fields. At this point, she can read this and she can hit the sign button here, which uh, lets her sign her signature. So, 
Uh, this is the model signature she hits done and that's it at this point uh, the model release has been signed by John as well as Jessica Now, um, as a photographer, if I want to enter some notes in this uh, model release, for example, the, um, you know, anything about the shoot that I want to record, I could uh, enter that over here under notes. If I need to uh, uh, track her driver's license number, her passport number, or any kind of uh, custom identifier, I could have entered it under reference ID. Both of those fields are optional, not necessary, but if you need to enter more information, they're there. Now at this point, uh, a couple things I can do, I can uh, view a PDF of this uh, model release, and the PDF uh, can be viewed very, very conveniently. Um, as you can see here, you can, uh, you can zoom in and out, it shows me the signatures, it shows me all the information about the model, as well as the photographer, and this PDF, uh, just like any other PDF, is ready to be uh, emailed, printed, um, archived, whatever you, you want to do with uh, the PDF file. Now looking at the PDF, you'll notice there's a, a little gray box here. It seems like there should be a picture there. So that's actually where the model's picture can go, or you can attach a picture of her driver's license, or um, your studio, or anything that you want to attach to this model release. Usually it's the picture of the model, and the picture you see right over here is just a placeholder. So let's go ahead and add a picture of Jessica to this model release. So I'm just going to go, I, I could take a picture from my camera, uh, I could uh, select a picture from my photo library, so let's just go and select one of my existing pictures here. And there we have a picture of Jessica. And now if I go back and look at the PDF, there is a picture with the model release. So at this point, this release is ready to be emailed. I could send it to um, the model, I could, I could archive it. So there's a couple things I can do at this point. Click here, I can send this by email, which attaches it to um, a new email message. And at this point, I can just hit the send button and as you can see here, uh, the to field, the CC field, and, uh, and the subject line, the body, all of that has been pre-populated. So within just one tap, I have this thing emailed uh, to all the parties. Um, I can also send this to my Dropbox account. So a lot of you photographers uh, use this very popular service named Dropbox. It keeps all your files synced across all your computers and uh, with the cloud. So Model Release has built-in support for um, Dropbox. You can send this PDF into your Dropbox account instead of uh, send sending it as an email or in addition to sending it as an email. So we've got a picture attached uh, to the Model Release. We've uh, uh, sent it as an email. We've uh, been able to send it to our Dropbox account. Now this thing has been filed. Its uh, status is set assigned and we're ready to move on. At this point, um, say we come back in a few days, we've got a new, mo uh, a new shoot and Jessica happens to be one of our models again. So we want to do another model release for a new shoot. So let's go ahead and hit the plus button. As you see, it gets your location. Now, you'll notice that Jessica is one of my recent models, so I no longer have to enter all of that information again. The fact that she's an adult, her email address, her phone number, all of that stuff is stored in uh, the app's database. So all I need to do is just select Jessica Anderson from this list here, and it creates a brand new model release. As you can see, uh, it, it, it automatically put in the uh, location this time, and it shows the status as incomplete. So at this point, I can change the description, the, the picture is still there, I can select a different contract, and all I have to do at this point is get the model to sign this. As you can see, the photographer's signature is there, so all of those steps we did the first time around uh, don't have to be repeated. So the model comes in here, and the model does have to sign every release. You can't save a model signature in the database for legal reasons. And there we go, this one's signed, and the PDF is ready, 
and it's ready to be emailed.